Ian, do we have a scumbag? Seller of the week. Week? Week. It's been a while since we had a scumbag seller of the week. Yeah. Uh, this was brought to my attention on Twitter. Uh, Michael, oh, excuse me, on Patreon. Michael D on the Patreon sent me this. He, uh, Michael had received uh, Facebook, I guess, targeted ads. You can target ads on Facebook for what he thought was a sale for the, the arcade one up home uh, arcade machine cabinets that we've talked about in the podcast uh, many times. They've been around there for what, three, four, five years. And he was like, This is strange. What's happening here? So he clicked on the link and um, realized quickly it was a cloned website from scammers. Yep. Um, so it, it was a, a derivative of Arcade One Up, Arcade One Up US.com. Yeah, keep an eye out for that. That even has like has some headlines, but when you click on them, it just goes to the art. So they basically um, there's tools you can use to like grab website code, grab mm -hmm. the images. So these uh, entrepreneurs did this, and then said, "You know what, Ian? We're going to mark down our fake cabinets." Oh, Marvel superheroes arcade machine with riser. $94 marked down from 400 Golden T $96 NBA Jam $98 so when if you're not if you're looking on Facebook you don't know any better oh it's Facebook it's an official ad I'll just click on it and go right. to it you can click on this stuff and buy the Terminator 2 arcade machine Ian, wow it's unclear it's marked down from 700 to $97 Ridge Race for only $96 yeah and you can add it to the cart and you can go to checkout and, you know it, it, it's like a Shopify site it's they're using Shopify it looks like and you can even uh, use their code and place your order on this shit. And the problem is, is that obviously this is a scam. You see this stuff uh, come up from time to time with electronics and other things. I've seen this. You've seen like, oh, why, like, why is this thing marked down 80%? What's happening? They, they try to get people, uh, global people uh, to do it. Or people that are just, oh, wow, this is a, a clearance. Um, so the, the issue is that they have a Facebook group that it points to as well. And they started posting only, uh, it looks like yesterday. Wow, that's quick. Um, and they've already got their scam going. They, they put out a bunch of posts and then even had their... Um, so the way it usually works on Facebook in terms of the ads, you make a post, you can then promote it and pay money directly, and it's off and running. Anyway, anyone can do it. That's what happened around the election. Uh, you had a lot of disinformation, misinformation, and posts. Anyone can do it. I mean, it's documented. This is what they did. Um, so... Their first post was on, on yesterday, the 17th. Arcade one-up machines are must-haves for retro game enthusiasts and pop culture collectors. Perfect in family game rooms and man caves. X-Men, Street Fighter, Simpsons, Pac-Man, and more. Get yours up to 80% off with the link. And then you have only a couple of comments saying... Um, see, a couple of people even in the comments don't even realize it. Someone says, uh, says see it in the title, but it's a stand-up. The seat is an add-on. There's a response. Someone says NBA Jam. Oh, with a big face. Like, oh, that's cool. Not realizing they're responding to a scam. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, there, there's an email on here. Servers at arcadegame.com. I don't know if that's their actual email. There's a phone number. Who the hell knows what it goes to um, here? And they have their shop here. And then there's also other follow-ups about they're, they're, they're stealing... There's a picture of, of Pete Davidson with an uh, with you see that picture on Facebook. There's a picture of like Pete Davidson with an with an RK one up. It looks like Pete Davidson. Uh, it looks just like him with a Ninja Turtles cabinet. I don't know where they got that from. Um, and there's pictures of the mini. Uh, looks like the little kids Pac Man mini arcade you told me about. There was yeah. a little mini one. Looks adorable. There with the family with stock photos. Uh, they followed up. Hey Star Wars lovers, lovers, we've got the best gift for you. Uh, Esquire included RK One Up Star Wars pinball machine on top. It's top picks this year. So they're trying, they're trying to look like like oh Esquire magazine. They're trying to look, look like a leg legitimate company, right here. That's uh, the problem. It does here. look like Pete Davidson with a yes. I, I'm kind of interested to see where that came from. That image. Yeah. Um, they're even they're even advertising that Infinity uh game table on there. Remember that the, the, yeah. the, the, mm -hmm. the, the big like giant tablet basically. Yep. On there, so. It's egregious. They, they, there's, a, there's an Instagram photo showing up. Arcade went up. So this is obviously a, a, a scam. I hope this gets shut down. Um, they have a, they have a one, one star review on here. But the point is, is that people probably got already taken uh, for money on this. It probably has already happened. Uh, and, and it's sad. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's uh it's a scumbag seller. It's a scumbag and, move. And it's more dangerous also because on the Facebook targeted ads, you can target by interest. You right. Can, you can target by area where you live, demographics, uh, sex, age, um, and interests. On fa- when you sign up for Facebook, you put down your interests. You put down, I like retro games, I like video games. So this can this will be shown like on this person's uh, page that alerted us um, to on uh, Mike's page. Like he only saw it because they knew Facebook knew he likes video games. He likes retro games. That's what makes this stuff dangerous to get around and, and, and get reshared. And added that people. That's what makes Facebook so more dangerous. I'd say that even a Twitter ad or, or even probably an Instagram ad, it's the propagation of it. Yeah. It's so much more uh, on it. It's so much quicker. It spreads like a it spreads like a virus when it comes to it. Uh yeah. The, I mean, some people will be able to tell there's when you now when you go to the site, it looks like there's like a 404 on the main page, but then you can click around and get to stuff. But no, it's bad. It's it's really bad. Um, if you get ever see this sort of stuff uh, happen before, um, yeah, I have. I can't think of any actual examples at the moment, but I've definitely seen like websites that pop up, and it's like this is not not as often yeah. as I used to. Yeah, how you that saw- used to be a really common thing on the internet. Like people would get the uh, name of a site that was like a couple letters off and mimic it, you know, and put spyware and shit up there or whatever. I've seen this within the past year and a half. I've still seen this. <laughs> really? Uh, some it's like, oh, is this, are they just drop? shipping stuff from china like what are they doing here but then you see some stuff that like look could be legit other stuff obviously like you can't sell stuff like ipads for like 90 percent off the cost you can't sell an 800 hundred dollar ipad for like you know a hundred dollars like when you look at this stuff it's like this is insane like if you're if you're if this is stolen property they would charge more for this even they can't just do this they're just trying to get people and then hopefully i don't know they close up shop and go away before people start doing credit card you know chargebacks and, and months later you know that's that's what i'm guessing when it comes to this stuff, I know it's bad. This is the first time we've seen it with with arcade machines uh, like this. I don't have much more to say about this other than now looking at the outer machine. That's a cool looking machine. The outer machine, I'll say that. But buy it from Arcade One Up and not Arcade One Up Dash US. Uh, you you want to do that? All right. Anything else to add, Ian? New Year's sales up to eighty percent off. Eat me. It's terrible. No, nothing. All right. Well, that was our scumbag seller. seller. Of, of the, the week, week, Pete Davidson. You know, you, you got to speak out about this. <laughs>